Hello heretics and this is the Warp Forge or should I say Gothamites because today we have another unboxing on another big dude for the Batman miniatures game yes it's this guy same packaging the new packaging is great as per usual with the bat wings and stuff we have King Shark here absolutely looks adorable absolutely adorable we'll call him Fins for short I'm just joking we'll actually be actually calling him King Shark if I can just Move, nope, nope, apparently we're going to have some glare, so there we go. Yep, as you can see, all the same, the bat feet, the um, <laughs> the bat feet for the back pack packaging with the bat symbol. Oh, three bats and a shark. So where's Adam West when you need him and a shark repellent? Because I pray, I really hope Adam West gets a new resin re-sculpt with uh, the Boy Wonder. And one of his weapons is shark repellent for specifically King Shark. Because outside of being a dick of the rules, it would just be funny. Let's be honest. King Shark, this huge lumbering model, gets scared off by... Um... By... Uh, Adam West. You know, just take a fear, just take a, a fear test, minus four. And suffers Terra 3 to this model. There we go, Shark Repellent Spray, get on it, make models. That sounds broken, I know, but hey. Let's just, let's just have a laugh for once. So obviously, we've opened it again, blister packaging. You've got the back of the model, the front of the card for the DC game. And what'd you get? This card. So, the DC. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Nice seven point model. Nice uh, affiliated free agent for your Evil Justice League force or the Legion of Dead. As campy comics go. But this is, the card, this is the card we want, this is the card we want, we'll zoom in, we'll zoom in, in our fantastically amateur fashion, we are zooming into this card, this is the card you want, this is for Batman Miniatures game, this is your boy. What do I like about the new packaging is when you get one of these new packaging, package models, they've updated the cards to have all the rules on the back, which I am very, very happy with, very, very happy. So, what happens, with, so this bit, this model, what does he do? Well, he does what he says on the card, quite literally. Quite literally, even more literally than I'm thinking now because of the rules on the back. But yeah, he literally goes up to people and eats them. Well, I say eats them, tears them apart. For some reason, they didn't give him cannibal, which I find weird. Not even an upgrade card to give him the cannibal trait, which I found very odd because King Shark's known for eating people. I mean, he's a shark. The whole uh, carnivore aspect comes in, but hey, okay, there we go. Uh, one thing to note is... Metaskin BV, that means bulletproof vest. That's something that I hope they, yep, they did put on the back of the card, that is fantastic, because I had a right head scratcher thinking about what that meant until someone pointed it out to us, so praise tonight's models for actually clarifying that that is an actual bulletproof vest. Again, Claws and Teeth, he has combo with Claws and Teeth, so he gets free attacks when he spends so many attack counters, so, and he's attack five. This guy's gonna come into your face and just go, yeah, Deal with me. Endurance 8. Fantastic amount of endurance. That's a leader standard. Standard for a free agent. Good strength. Decent defense. You know, as all huge, large and huge models have defense 3. Movement 2. Special 3. So yeah. This boy. For just under 100 rep. If you want something that's big, bulky and just scares the living pants off your foes. Of your rivals. This is the guy you want. So. Outside of all that, here's a card holder. This is I usually like to use these uh, little thick card holders because you can just slide these cards in, as I'm failing to do right now because I'm going cockeyed because I have my glasses on. <laughs> so wham, straight in, no hassle. Just get some uh, erasable like whiteboard markers. It's all on one card. It's all on one sleeve. It is a done deal, thank you. So to the highest bidder, which is me, because I have a model, ha. So again, form, just for protection, that fluff, maybe if you find a way to use for it for scenery. So again, we'll, grab, we'll take all the parts out, and we'll go through them very shortly, or very, in uh, piece by piece, or sprue by sprue. So again, we'll take off the marker, or we'll take off the box, See what we've got first. So let's let's leave the model to last. Let's leave the best bit to the last, shall we? So again, just like um, Clayface, you get a new huge textured base that is cobblestone. And once again, Knight's models 
praise be you've made a fantastic looking base i am more than happy just to put a green bit of green stuff on the edges and then sculpt out with my sculpting tools to complete all the little inner brick layers because i'm kind of like that now for certain models like clay face obviously you can just green stuff over it mold it into the feet and therefore he has a puddle of clay to walk over which is what i'm currently doing now but again i just need to stress that tonight's models please make these a separate accessory like a a pack of four to six for about what six seven quid ten quid at a push i'd happily buy these because i really like them and as someone who does the spider-man winches game <laughs> we are just subtle self-promotion there for um hell's kitchen so uh, <laughs> on the facebook again selfish self-promotion because i'm a selfish person um yeah, okay, just please make more of these bases because I'd happily buy more of these. Definitely would happily buy more of these bases. Absolutely love them. So what's the next bit? Well, go off the body now. Absolutely fantastic detail. I'm going to have to wash this. A few more lines, but again, you can clear these up easy. A bit of sprue here. Again, a, a, a clipper will just take that off. And then a little bit of filing or even just a knife just to scrape off any mold lines and flash will do this model absolute justice. Now one thing to note as I zoom in, because I am an absolute, apparently I can't zoom for shit, is he doesn't have his front teeth, which is a separate piece, which it, which surprised me, considering about how Clayface mo Clayface's mouth was already open and had full set of gnashes. I know Clayface has gnashes, who'd have thought? <laughs> but yeah, again, looks fine, I don't see any problem with it, it looks like a fantastic sculpt, I cannot wait to paint this guy. So the next piece is going to be the legs actually. So as you can see, tabs here, cut these bits of flash off, cut this bit of flash off. I can't see a problem with this model. This is a really nice model. It's King Shark from the CW-verse, Arrowverse, and it looks great. It looks just how he is in the show, which is fully CGI, no nonsense. Those actors have to imagine him existing with a pogo stick and tennis ball, as you can imagine. Uh, so yeah, absolutely fantastic. I actually really love this. This is pretty nice. I can't say much more. Uh, I like it. I see a little bit of flash in here, but again, bit of a knife, bit of cutting, then maybe a small file. No, definitely a small file. Clean it up, no problem. So the second piece, now obviously, as you can see, there's a, there's a thing missing, because obviously this was here, and it snapped off as it was in the packaging, but nothing is missing or lost. So we have his first arm, again, it's all webbed uh, fingers and stuff, that's specific, because he's a shark, he's an amphibious creature, and as we can see here, if I am allowed to zoom in so far, there we go, there's the top of his mouth. That, those are ni those are a nice set of gnashes. Take deep care and never ex think this is just an extra spare bit of flash. Because unlike the show, this will look very horrible if you don't actually add this in a mouth, in the actual fucking body. <laughs> so yeah, we have the hand here as well, which looks great. Actually looks quite fun. And then we have the other arm. Again, more fins on the side with a lot of flash to clear up. More flash to clear up, but again, webbed, webbed hands as always. Looks fine in my eyes. I can't see anything wrong with this. Again, painted up like the show. Bit of CGI. So what I like about this model is that there's a lot of smooth pieces, especially on the muscles. So you can just gently layer everything on top. And once you gently layer everything on top, it's just going to pop out so much better. I like smooth edges more than uh, detail everywhere on your standard Games Workshop model. <laughs> no, no shameless uh, self-criticisms um, or just criticisms of uh, Games Workshop models because they can be very over and in detail. So having something nice and flat where you can just get into the model and paint it. Just add those gentle layers on. Absolutely fantastic. So, yeah. This was King Shark. Um, really looking forward to using them. Alongside Killer Croc and Clayface, uh, will I be adding him to a, a Gorilla Grog crew? Maybe. <laughs> I like it, it's very appealing to go. Here's King Shark, Killer Croc, and Grod. It's a three monster list, but it could be so much fun. It could be very, very hilarious just to see someone with mind control, a bruiser, then Croc, 
as someone on the rooftops catching the, out those acrobats. That would be quite fun, in my opinion. So yeah, I really like this model. Can't wait to build it. Can't wait to paint it. I can't uh, stress this. If you like uh, CW Flash stuff and CW Verse or Arrowverse, go for this. This is fantastic. Um, if you really like stuff alongside gangs, like this guy, I think he's going to be great with organised crime. He's going to be great for the likes of Black Mask or Falcone Maroni or even, I think, Two-Face as well. Two-Face might like him a lot. So, yeah, just a few suggestions. Now, go get playing with this character, folks. Buy this guy from Nate's Model Store, as you know. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more videos of Batman Munch's game, from unboxings to work in progress updates to battle reports, and please, you know, you know where I am. Subscribe to this channel, hit that notifications button. And if you've got anybody else who's interested in Batman or interested in the Arrowverse and they want to get into wargaming or miniature wargaming, share this video around. The more, uh, yeah, the more the merrier, as they say. So thank you for watching. This is the Warp Forge signing out. And remember, keep on forging.